And as you can see right here, we are playing with Master Yi, who has two zeal and gloves and boots of mobility and a wiggles. Now, I have the epic revive smite summoner combo on there, as well as the fact that I did have sodas, but I have unfortunately drank in them all, and so that is why I am drinking a soda in real life right now to make up for that. My clothes have been worn ragged by the epic battles that I've been in as Master Yi, and therefore I had to incorporate what little was left into my wiggles. So, like, that's just how it goes. Now, we are fighting Heimerdinger here, who escapes because he is a noob lord, and fortunately, he does not come back to see the epic wrath that I would have delivered upon him, because he knows that it would have been a very, very gory death. Now, the only reason I died there is because Vayne decided to cheat, uh, anybody that's able to kill Master Yi while he's completing the dunking build is obviously a cheater. So we're going on here, and we're at two kills, seven deaths, and two assists, but that's fine. Uh, it's 11 to 30, but we will still, we will still prevail. I have faith in the fact that we will prevail, yes. Our Pantheon has decided to say that we are a pathetic team. Pathetic here, from some language that I do not know. Not really sure. Signaling people to fall back to no avail. I've almost completed my third zeal. I'm well on my way to becoming a true Duncan champion. Here I'm deciding to get some sweet frags, some epic frags, using my Q. Not using my smite yet, because these are just not even worth my time to use smite. Nocturne decides to use his ult on an unfortunate ally of mine. If they would have had me there, I would have instantly killed Nocturne, obviously. Just look at how much gold I'm picking up. Just look at all these last hits. They're telling me to go back because Alistar's coming, but do you think I fear a motherfucking big-ass bull? Do you think I fear a big-ass bull, motherfucking Casper the Ghost, and some dumb motherfucker that thinks she's goddamn the woman version of Blade? Do you think I fear any of that shit? No. I don't give a fuck. Motherfucking, I'm Master Yi. I don't give a shit. Six. Just, just see, even even Master Yi agrees with me. He just says certainly. He agrees with me that there's nothing to fear. And look at my team trying to surrender. What the fuck is wrong with them? Do they not realize who's on their team? Do they not realize that Master Yi is on the fucking case, and he's not to be fucked with? Do you realize that? I mean, just look at this. I mean, look at my team. My my Pantheon needs to stop being pathetic. I'm going to assume that means bad in his language. I'm not really sure what language that is yet, but I'm going to assume that's what it means. And he just needs to stop getting killed by Fiddlesticks. He's getting killed by motherfucking Scarecrow from Wizard of Oz. That's who he's getting killed by. I mean, that's just sad. If you're goddamn, if you're the dude from 300 and you're getting killed by the Scarecrow from Wizard of Oz, there's obviously a problem there. I don't really see how you could get killed at all. And here I am obviously fragging the turret. This motherfucking Casper, the friendly ghost, thinks he can do something against me. He thinks he can stop me from taking the turret, but unfortunately he doesn't know who he's dealing with. He's dealing with Master Yi here. Master Yi takes out a turret and leaves. And he does it as he pleases. It's like you always hear people say Mundo does as he pleases. Master Yi is the original does as he pleases. Do you see motherfucking Casper here getting anywhere near me? No? You see, I even went back to even give him an advantage. I even took on that turret. I decided to feel bad for him and I decided to just get myself killed. Because I felt bad for him. I felt so bad that he was trying so hard to kill me and he just couldn't do it. It's so sad. So now that I have taken down yet another turret as a true pro, which I have informed my team of so that they may bask in the glory of Master Yi, I see that my revite is my revite, my revive is ready. Yes. And I have revived. And I'm going to go solo dragon because Yi needs nobody else to get dragon. Fuck this team battle going on. This is a piece of shit. If you think I give a fuck about a team battle, you can go fuck yourself. Because Master Yi don't give a fuck about a team battle. That's what happens when Master Yi fucking goes into a team battle. He gets killed. That's why he don't do it. That's why he just goes off in solo. See, if there's other allies around, they bring him down. 
they bring Master Yi down if there's other allies around him. So he has to go in solo or else he's just going to suck. See, just like this. No allies and he gets shit on. And that Zerath, motherfucking, I don't even know what the hell to call him. He steals the kill. Of course, like a true asshole. So I'll just have to take Nocturne. I'll have to take Nocturne as the, uh, as the booby prize. And Caitlyn here is getting in on... Caitlyn is getting in on my fucking business here. He needs to get the fuck out of here. This fucking terrible. I'm Master Yi. I deserve every kill in the game. I deserve to go 50 0. So we're going here. Pushing mid ASAP. I'm telling my team to. They can do the grunt work while I can do the uh, pro work taking down the dragon. And it is done. It is done. Master Yi is done. And my allies signal me to come help with the team fight, but I just told them I don't do team fights because it brings my vibe down. I'm just not good at trying to have to deal with other people sucking. But I decided to go in anyways. And Vayne here, Vayne thinks she can do something against me, but she can't. She does a little tumble thing. Oh, look at that. Cheats again. What a cheater. What kind of a person goes invisible? Such a cheater. Such a cheater. I'm, I'm going to have to report her for cheating. And so, uh, Caitlyn here is at the top. And she has destroyed a turret, no doubt, because she saw my masterful ways of destroying a turret and realized the way to actually get it done, obviously. She's getting chased by Nocturne up there, though. And if she dies, she is a mega, super duper, completely 100% noob lord because... Nobody dies to Casper, the friendly ghost. He's motherfucking the friendly ghost. How do you die to Casper? I, look at that, Caitlin. That's just sad. You make me ashamed. How do you die? How do you die to him? I don't even know. I'm just sad, man. And then you die to motherfucking big ass bull. Who are you dying to here? You're dying. You're dying to Casper and an energy drink. I mean, how does that happen? Is it like you you drank the energy drink and then you got too hyped up? And then when that happened, the ghost scared you or something like that, and you died? I don't understand. Is that is that what it was? And look at that. Double double simultaneous kill. It was like an old-style samurai battle where we both shoved our swords through each other's guts at the same time. Yes. Definitely what it was. An epic, epic battle for all. So we have the first stage of our Duncan build complete. We have uh, the four zeal and boots of mobility. The uh, move really fast boots, as they're more scientifically called, and our wiggles. And we have our smite ready for some sweet frags, and uh, revive is on cooldown because it just can't take how hot we are. And we're doing good. We're doing good. This is definitely a winnable game. 311 4 is a very good score. Very good score, highly recommended. If you can get to that level, then you might be able to be a champ like me. And see, as I'm trying to inform people here, they're questioning the greatness of my build. But I'm trying to tell them that I'm doing the online guide that is endorsed by Shaq, as you can see on that guide there that I provided at the beginning of the video. It shows him slamming and jamming with a basketball on a basketball hoop in the middle of the ocean while a shark charges up out of the ocean, obviously to congratulate him on his amazing slamming and jamming. So, I mean, if you can't use this guide, what guide can you use? I don't know what guide you could possibly even want to use if you can't even use that one. I mean, it's just, it's the easiest guide in the game to win with, you know? It's, it's the Yi guide. It's the Yi guide, you know? You just, you don't fuck with the Yi guide. And Vayne does her little cheating fucking invisible shit again. I'm gonna have to report that to Riot because I don't appreciate that they've left a bug in the game that allows a champion to become invisible and invincible like that. I, that is obviously cheating. And I hope none of you guys out there use that. I hope none of you guys out there use that cheating, terrible method. Because it's just, it's not appropriate. It's not appropriate in an honor-bound game like League of Legends. That's just my opinion. I wouldn't go invisible like that. I'm trying to tell my team here to stay back because Master Yi is on the scene. And he's going to push these turrets because he's motherfucking mean. He's the mean green Yi machine. And Nocturne thinks he can do anything, but he can't. 
because I'm motherfucking Master Yi. And so it's done. And these minions, they think they can do something? No, it's done. And this turret, does this turret think it can do something? Because it can't. Because I'm just going to run up there and just knock the fuck out of it. I mean, look at that. It's just, it's not even a motherfucking contest. It's like the turret is trying to put up a fight, but it can't do it. And it's, it's over. This turret is done for. And here comes Vayne with a little invisible bullshit again. And here comes Mr. 300. 300 and the Vampire Hunter both out to fuck me over. Fucking assholes. And here comes a bull. Motherfucking big ass Utter's bull decides to take me down. Trying to tell my teammates to stay at base and defend, but no. They can't do that. They decide to go out and let our base get swarmed by motherfucking minions. It's a very good job. Very good job. <laughs> trying to tell them the epic strat here. I'm trying to tell them I've almost successfully butt-fucked the top turret. That is a high-level skill that only a Master Yi can do. Is uh, butt fucking the top turret? Yes. It's not. It's not for uh, you to try at home. Not for you to try at home. So we're going in here, and uh, we're going back up to push top again. Fuck a team fight. I will solo sex dragon again. Yes, that is another high level technique, which I have to provide a disclaimer for. Also, you should definitely not try at home. I am a licensed uh, solo master of everything possible, so uh, not just uh, doing sex dragons, so, yep. And Vayne here thinks she's going to get away with a little invisible shit, but not this time, Vayne. Not this time. See what happens when you don't do your little invisible shit? See what happens when you play fair, when you play fair, Vayne, and you don't abuse a bug in the game's programming? You get fucking Master Yeed, alright? That's how it fucking goes. And then Pantheon? Pantheon? What is he doing here? Well, obviously he cheated too. He obviously cheated too. He made a big ring around me, which obviously, you know, I couldn't use the full I couldn't use the full amount of my movement, so that was cheating too. And I'm trying to tell Pantheon that he needs to come on and slam and welcome to the jam. The jam of Master Yi. And the other Pantheon is telling me to turn my caps off, but I, I just can't do that because Master Yi needs to tell them how it goes. And as the guide has said, you can't play Master Yi this way if you don't get pumped. If you don't get pumped, you can't play Master Yi like this. It's, it's a requirement. It's like the seventh item. It's like the seventh item you buy is getting pumped up, you know? And if you don't have that item, then how can you possibly hope to win? And the other Pantheon can clearly, I mean, he clearly doesn't understand. He doesn't understand the necessity of that seventh item in your build. It's a core item. It's a core item for the Master Yi build I'm using, so, you know. You see, Master Yi even says he'll show me the path. And here comes Nocturne trying to do his little fucking shit. I don't know what the hell he's even doing, but he's a fuck off. And uh, our 300 guy jumps in. Trying to take out Mr. Fucking Energy Drink here. Uh, doing great, doing great. My team's actually not sucking a dick for once, you know, because it's very hard to live up to Master Yi's potential. Uh, Heimerdinger, motherfucking, I don't even know what the hell he is. Heimerdinger's uh, fucking Robin Williams in Flubber or something like that. That's what the hell he is. So uh, he's, he's kind of just throwing shit all over the place. Mad scientist. Uh, still trying to take down Alistar, and we finally do it, yeah. And I take him down, and... Uh, and uh, Mr. Heimerdinger here thinks he's going to get away, but uh, no. No, oh, look at that. Look, what is that miss shit? What is that miss shit? So Heimerdinger is a fucking cheater too. He hacked.